I was part of a, a dad's group five, six years ago, and a few of us decided to get together and have a kickabout one night. It went really well, and then we said we'd do it a few weeks later, but there was people just wanted to play again. So we played the following week, and more dads got involved, and then more dads, and more dads, and more dads got involved. And it was more of just a, more of a social aspect thing to begin with. My name's Paul, and I'm the founder of Match of the Dads. The main aim of Match of the Dads is to um, is to promote the benefits of, of exercise and, and socialising and kind of a mental health aspect. Um, a lot of the work we do in the background is to do with raising awareness of, of well-being and men's mental health issues. And part of that, we've been raising money for, for the Calm Zone campaign against living miserably since we started. Um, and to date, we've raised about £7,000 for them. I'm Adam and I'm Chief Operations Officer for Match the Dads, uh, which is generally doing everything, men in particular, potentially, you know, it's stigma about being open about how we feel and how we're struggling and, and all those bits and pieces. And I feel um, that's why this works. You know, it's mainly based around football. You know, you're just meeting up for a kick about at the end of the day. But while you're here, you can have chats and have build those connections and friendships and support networks that, um, you know, you wouldn't have otherwise. There is one lad in the group that, uh, that has really benefited from what we do. Um, he's actually plainly admitted that you know, if we didn't exist, he, he may not be here. The fact that we've helped him get out of that position is just, you know, that's what we take home, that's why we do it, that's why we, exactly why we come here every Monday. I'm Nick Taylor, uh, I'm one of the captains here at Match of the Dads. When I first started, I was a, a new dad um, and didn't have that many friends that were also dads. And, you know, we had some medical diagnosis and questions and queries that just didn't really know where to go uh, and this group actually helps with that just being able to go to a forum of like-minded people who you knew enough to ask a question and there was no judgment which was great it's helping the people that are here um, you know being a sounding board or you know what just a face to talk to it's not a football league it's, it's an area that we all play football, don't we wrong? There's, a, there's you know, guys together, there is an element of competition, but it's the right mix and the, a real ethos of let's, let's get involved, let's help and bring everyone in to that fold as well. See the growth, growth from you know, a kickabout with 12 guys to you know, what you see here today, it's phenomenal. Adam, Paul, uh, this is a thank you award from Grassroots UK and Utility and from all of us here at Match of the Dads, the things you've done for us, everything you've set up here, I don't think thank you is ever enough, but hopefully this is a little token of our appreciation to all everything you do. Nice one, cheers mate. Thanks, mate. The thing that makes me proudest about Match of the Dads is the sense of community uh, that we've got amongst the group that play. You know, we've got 150, 200 dads involved overall, and there's just such a sense of camaraderie and, and, and just unitedness about what we do, why we play. For some people, myself included at times, this may be the only social outlet I have this week. Um, that's so important. And, and knowing that we are the ones that made that space for, for men to get together and, and you know, safely share their, their troubles and, and problems uh, and at the same time you know, keep fit and healthy, um, yeah I'm, I must be proud of that.